If you're new here, welcome in. And if you know me, welcome back. I want to thank each and every one of you for 30,000 plus subscribers. Thank you guys so much. It is not lost on me. And I appreciate that you guys like my content. And I'm going to keep making more. Feel free to keep commenting on what ideas I should do next. And I appreciate you guys. So in our last video, we did the Shaq and Kobe Lakers and we put them in today's NBA. And I'm gonna continue on with that trend. And this time I'm gonna do who the Shaq and Kobe Lakers ended up playing against in the NBA Finals one time. And that is the Allen Iverson Philadelphia 76ers. Now I'm really curious about the gameplay that they're gonna play because again, the Shaq and Kobe Lakers didn't take any threes at all. And I'm sensing that this is probably going to be what's gonna happen for the six but I'm really curious to see not only like if they make the playoffs, but if they make the playoffs, if they make a deep run. Again, I'm going to be making some trades as well, potentially, if I think that it helps suit Allen Iverson and company, Eric Snow, uh, Dikembe Mutombo, et cetera, et cetera. So without further ado, let's get a cracking. All right, so we are going to do, yep, Philadelphia 76 series. We're going to add them and then we're going to, actually, I don't think we need to edit the last time we did Lakers, Kobe, Shaq, we had had to uh, do editing of the team and the logo. I think that the logo is so different this time around that it's going to be easy to tell uh, the two teams apart. So I am excited, but that puts, okay, yeah, that puts six teams in the division and I'm ready to go. All right, so we have Eric Snow at 80, Allen Iverson at 94, George Lynch, Tyrone Hill, Takeme Mutombo, Aaron McKee, Jermaine Jones, Matt Geiger, Rodney Buford, Todd McCullough, Raja Bell, Kevin Ollie. So we're gonna try to adjust the rebuild already. Adjust the roster, that puts uh, Kevin Ollie in the rotation as he should be. And I really don't think that this team is good enough to make the playoffs. It really depends on how good Allen Iverson is here. And I'm interested to see what happens here. I don't think the duo of Eric Snow and Allen Iverson is going to be that powerful in today's NBA. Allen Iverson, yes. Eric Snow and the supporting cast, not sure. Because you can't do a three guard lineup with Aaron McKee, Eric Snow, and Allen Iverson. I, I don't think you can do that. And this might lead to me trading Aaron McKee away just so we can bolster up the wings or the front court, something like that. But let's sim about a month into the season. Let's see what happens. Loss. And we instantly get a trade for Gordon Hayward. We're going to decline that. Loss. 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 Okay. Win, win. Kevin Ollie injured. Uh, Tyrone Hill injured for two to four weeks. I don't know, man. We're five and six. Five and seven. Okay. We're pretty injured right now, but we're also just five and nine. I think the main problem here is our offense. I think we probably have the worst offense in the league. Yep. We're barely averaging 102 points and we're giving up 112. And I feel like we're only averaging, we're only averaging 10.9 three point attempts per game. And we're shooting 31% from, oh no. Yeah, this team, ooh buddy, we need to get some shooters fast or else we're gonna go Detroit Pistons this thing for sure. Let's see. Kevin Ollie injury fully healed. All right, yeah, that's a win. Nope. We scored 71 points to get the Timberwolves. Six and 13, six and 14. Yep. Loss, loss, loss. Okay, there's a win. Seven and 17. Royce O'Neal and Lee for Raja Bell and Eric Snow. We're going to decline that trade, but no, we're just losing too many games. Marcus Smart and John Kochar. Conchar for it. No. 7 and 21. Oh no. All right, we have to look to trade Aaron McKee or something, man. I don't I don't know. We got to find something. Robert Covington, Brooke Lopez maybe. Brooke Lopez might help a lot actually. Uh no. John Collins maybe. Brooke Lopez for a year might actually be very helpful. Jonathan Isaac and Goga maybe. Gafford and Lawson, Ben Simmons and Dorian Finney-Smith, no. Steven Adams, no, he's not gonna help. Bradley Beal, Bradley Beal actually might help. Let's, let's do that. Let's see where that leaves our game plan because we just need a little bit of offensive firepower. Now, I don't think, I don't agree with Beal on the bench. If Beal can play, oh, Beal's a backup point guard. Okay, we need to get rid of Eric Snow then. Let's get rid of Eric Snow and then have a Beal yeah, because this, this team is not good right now. Let's see if we can get some front court depth. D'Anthony Melton, Tyus Jones, Draymond, Monty Morris, Steven Adams. Draymond might be a nice 
pick, actually. Metu and Fontecchio. Those are two serviceable players. Serviceable power forward and small forward. We will go back to this Pistons pick. Toppin, Pope. We just need to build a competent roster around Allen Iverson. That's like all we need. Rick Lopez and Malik Beasley, could they do it potentially? And we would get rid of Speedy Claxton. That's it. Mm, can Brook play power forward? No. Let's do Draymond. Yeah, let's see what this roster looks like now. I mean, we don't give up any defense, but I think that our starters can at least look the part. Kevin Ollie, Allen Iverson, Beal. No, no, no. Get do I have to get rid of all of my point guards to make a point? Do I have to do I have to do this? Oh man, I guess I gotta make Allen Iverson the point guard. Which is fine, but like I didn't wanna do this, but to make the rotations work that's this is what it seems like it has to be because then now this lineup is going to be Allen Iverson Beal yeah there we go Draymond Green playing center not power forward oh man the Kimmy Mutombo is now pissed fairly because I just got him benched uh no we're gonna change you to a power forward as well yeah let's just do that and then let's see if we can get if that's a competent ro roster and rotation yeah that looks way better also, we shouldn't be playing 10 players for sure. Larry Brown, what are you on? We are in desperate times here. All right, let's see if this turns our team, our season around. DeMar DeRozan and Lonzo Ball for Bradley Beal and Dikemi Mutombo. Uh, no, I'm going to say no to that. Bradley Beal day to day. All right. Welp. And you got, okay, win over the Wizards, lost to Portland. We're 9-27. and 27. Can a comeback start? Again, that's the Wizards. That doesn't count. Devin Vassell and Zach Collins, no. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Dude, loss after loss after loss. And then Bradley Beal is six to eight weeks. All right, buddy. Yeah, these Sixers just do not, they just do not translate well. They just don't translate well to this current NBA. We're 31st. This team made the finals in 2001. And I think the thing here is that they, this just shows how much of a carry job Allen Iverson did because that's just is so impressive. Because you know how the Lakers had Shaq and Kobe and whatnot. They were able to still power their way to the NBA Finals, but they, this, this team doesn't have that. It's just Allen Iverson trying his best. All right, 14 and 40 for the season. And Jermaine, okay, broken left leg. All right. <sighs> I want to, I'm curious to see, I'm curious to see Allen Iverson stats at the end of the season because this is just too funny. 17, nah. This is just too funny to, oh my God, this would be a 17, 18 win team. And we're mostly healthy. That's the wild part about this. That is the wild part about all of this. Okay, never mind. Draymond fully healed. All right, doesn't matter. We're 19 and 54. Lost to the Lakers, lost to the Magic. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the last I'm gonna see the last game of the season. I'm gonna simcast and see a quarter of it. Just to see like what we're dealing with. See if there's anything different about the last game of the season. Alright. The Sixers are down five and it's AI and Bradley Beal. Eric uh not Eric Snow. Is it Eric Snow? Did I trade him? I think I traded him. I just don't know. And then you got Dream on Green playing the five. Just there you go, Scotty. All right, rebound. Uh, that's Matumbo, sorry. Okay. Speedy Claxon. All right, Bradley Beal. Can I get the ball to Iverson, buddy? Well, Beal can cook too. It's fine. All right, gets it to three. No, oh, Noara for three. Oh, man. Didn't expect that to make the video. All right. So I just don't know. Who's guarding Iverson? I, I'm not sure. Got some nice pick and roll right there. So I think the problem here is in 2K, there isn't really a great roll threat. And then Matumbo is just too slow in transition. So that's that's a thing right there that I don't really enjoy, but it is what it is. Oh, there you go. Iverson for three. No good. All right. Hill. No. Okay. Good rebounds though. Oh, oh. Ooh, this team is... Iverson took this team to a finals, man. That's impressive in and of itself. I know the Eastern Conference was weaker than the Western Conference back then, but it's still. Okay, Iverson, you're on, you have Kelly Olynyk on you, bro. Also, the backcourt of Claxton and Iverson is just super small. Also, good shot, Beal. It's unlucky. Okay, Matumbo. 
Oh my god, no one on this team can make a shot. This is absolutely rough stuff. And then Matumbo's too slow in transition. All right, I see what the problem is. This is nuts. Iverson's trying his best, but he's tired. Matumbo can't make anything. Oh my goodness. Oof. This is a tough watch. Oh, and then Hill's too slow. So this team is just too slow. I just don't know what they can do for this era. Like they're just too slow. So whenever they miss, whenever they miss the layup, they just get beat in transition. There's the Iverson cut for Beal. Okay. The play design's fine. Okay, and then Draymond. Draymond's not hitting that. A pull up midi for Draymond? No way. Okay, and then they're just not. This team just doesn't seem equipped to handle today's NBA, which is interesting. Which like, ooh. At least they rebound. I think they rebound pretty well. I don't know about getting out in transition. Okay, there's Beal. Okay, never mind. Okay, I just feel bad for AI at this point. I'm talking about Iverson. I'm not talking about AI, AI, you know? All right, that's good defense. There you go. But I don't think that the Sixers have scored any points. Maybe they scored like two. Iverson's trying his best. Okay. There you go, Green. Finally. The Philadelphia 76ers are 28th in the NBA in assists per game. That's brutal. Just a brutal offense all around. There you go, AI. AI. There you go. That's good. Ooh. Oh, they almost had them. They almost had the turnover. Oh, well. But, wow. There's just nothing. There's just nothing that they can do. I've seen enough here. GG's. Oh, man. This team. Yeah, this is not a playoff team in today's NBA. At least Allen Iverson made the first team all NBA. I want to see his stats really badly. I know we didn't make the playoffs. The real life Sixers did. Sorry, the current Sixers did. Let's look at the team stats real quick. We probably have the worst offense. Oh my God. 90. We are the only team in the league to score under 100 points per game. And then our defense, we have the second best defense in the league, but it just doesn't matter. It just does not matter. Are we the worst team in the league? Yes, by only one game. But let's see, field goal attempts. We have the worst field goal percentage. We have the lowest amount of field goals made. We only make 4.23 pointers a game. We only attempted 13 threes a game. And then we were the fourth worst free throw percentage. Unbelievable. So here's a chart of minutes per game and then points per game. And I'm guessing that that chart all the way in the far right is Allen Iverson. There's no, oh, so Allen Iverson played 35, 0.4 minutes a game and then average 31.9 points per game is that far right is that luca oh my god 36.4 37 minutes per game okay that is crazy now i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust uh minutes per game to turnovers per game yeah and i'm gonna guess that alan iverson might be up here okay 2.8 only 2.8 turnovers per game where you got luca 3.2 turnovers per game all right I love that I love that NBA 2K has this analytics tool. Like it's actually like a really cool feature that I wish I wish NBA 2K would allow us to turn these into Excel files. That would go extremely hard. I'm just saying. Now let's see. Let's go by let's just do team. Let's do it by team here. Yeah, by team. So Beal had 25 points per game. Iverson had 31 points per game. But Draymond is the next best scorer at 8.8 .8 points per game. This is an absolutely horrid offense. Just look how far away this team is. Oh my God. All right, let's look at, let's fix turnovers and then go to minutes per game. Minutes played. All right, Allen Iverson, Bradley Beal. Draymond had 31.2 minutes per game and only averaged 8.8 .8 points. Matumbo, Tyrone Hill, 27 minutes, seven points. Dude, these are just the, the cardio bros all over here, man. That's nuts. And then I'm gonna go go back here and get them goes like three pointers made. Yeah, it's just Beal. And even Beal is like only two 
points per game, two threes per game. And then Iverson is 1.8. So this team is just not a three point shooting team. And then you got all of these bench players here that just do not average threes in the slightest. Not even Draymond averages over one three a game. You are just not going to win games like that in today's NBA. You're just not. Oh no. If you zoom in once, they're not even on the chart anymore. That's disgusting. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put them in the LeBron era and see if that helps a little bit. I know that like three point shooting is a little bit less there, but still it shouldn't be it. Ugh. All right, let's customize, customize league rules, customize league. Can I only customize the league in the current NBA? No, can I add a team? That's what I wanna know. Well, maybe. Wow, I can't customize the league in the LeBron era. Maybe I have to do this like a way off of off screen in terms of like matching in bird era. Let's see if every league I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to customize the league. Customize league rules, customize roster. So next time I'd have to have like an actual roster and put actually you know what I can do? I can edit a my team roster right now. Alright, so I found a little workaround for the my era thing i had to make a lebron era roster then save it as my roster now i have to upload that custom roster and then i can add my classic team i think that that is the way yeah my rosters it's a weird workaround that i hope gets fixed in wait no no it, it's only for this era oh my goodness okay let me go back i thought i uh, i thought i had outsmarted it i thought i outsmarted everything no oh, man I don't want to that's the thing about this is that roster overhauling is like it takes such a long time and there's such a way to expedite the process that it this shouldn't like be this shouldn't be that difficult to do see like the current the current the current rosters the current era rosters have the again they have the classic teams to add on but the lebron rosters don't have the classic teams added it just seems very weird when you think about it create roster again now if we go to create roster we have the all-time teams we have the classic teams but we can't add that we'd have to assign to like another team oh my god now i feel like can i create a team no there's a way to do this that i just do not want to do at all so honestly it sucks that you have to you can't do that in every era, man. The next 2K better have that or else it just it just makes too much sense. I would love to have be able to have the classic rosters and then just be able to throw in a roster without having to customize everything. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the sim again, but this time I make no trades and see how bad this team actually can get. All right, we're going to try one more time here. And we're going to auto generate rookies because we it does not matter what happens. All right, we're going to sim the rest of the regular season. No trade offers. All right, we start off one and five, two and nine, two and ten, two eleven, two twelve, three and twelve, four and twelve. Oh my goodness. Four and eighteen. Oh my gosh. Six and twenty two, six and twenty three, six and twenty four. All right, first injury was like 30 games in. Dude, this finals team, this team made an NBA finals, but just is not. It just was it just wasn't suited for today's NBA. Not like not like Shaq. Iverson can't do his best to carry. Just an awful team. It's it's kind of wild how in the early 2000s you could have just like one scorer on the team and then tell like the rest of the roster, eh, you don't really have to worry about that. Just defend. Just defend and foul Shaq. Don't worry about it. Such a wild era of basketball. We all sat down and was like, this is real hoops. One guy can score all the points, it's fine made the nba finals and i'm not saying that this makes it like it this this doesn't make it an easy era don't get me wrong but this team isn't any like good in like today's nba style i i honestly don't know how many eras this team would actually work in i don't think this team would work in the 90s i have a sneaking suspicion that this team would not work in the 90s either i think this team was tailor made for 2000s basketball i don't think this team is like very dynasty proof in terms of just like you can put them in any time zone like I feel like if you put them in eight, if you put them in the eighties, oh Allen Iverson sprained his finger. I feel like you put this team in the eighties, the Lakers and Celtics run them off the floor. I don't, I just don't know, man. It's just seeing a team this bad. Ten and forty eight, dude. Ten and fifty four. This team just does not have it at all. There's nothing I can do here. 
10, 65, 11, 65, 11, and 67, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, win streak over here in the league. 14 and 68, 14 wins here. Allen Iverson still makes first team all NBA. Let's see about defensive. Matumbo and Iverson make all defensive second team and they win 14 games. I just think that that's nuts, honestly. All right, let's see. Points per game is probably putrid, dude. Um, points per game, 95 points with a, neg a net rating of negative 16. Only make three threes a game. Only take 10 threes a game. Oh no, look at, ah. Uh. They're one of the best rebounding teams, so that's probably because they miss a lot. They're probably last in assists, yep. They're second in steals. They just can't do anything with them. How many turnovers per game? We're second in turnovers per game? Oh man, oh no. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the analytics board. All right, we're gonna go to the analytics tool, select all players, plot. We're gonna put per game, the season points, and we're gonna go up over NBA average, and then we're gonna go minutes per game this season. We're gonna go minutes played over NBA average. So Allen Iverson definitely is. So he's like 20 points, he's like 20 minutes over the NBA average, and he's scoring uh, 26 points over the NBA average. So Allen Iverson, again, is way out here. Luke is way out here. So it's Luca and AI right now. Now we gotta go by team. And once you see that, Allen Iverson is averaging 33 points per game in 34 minutes. The next highest scorer, Aaron McKee at 12. Eric Snow at 8.9. This team, oh my God, this man had nobody near him. Nobody near him, man. And these guys all played above average minutes per game. It just did not matter. That's Rajah Bell. That's crazy. I'm just like baffled by this. This is just so funny. Now let's simulate the playoffs real quick. Nikola Jokic, MVP. Okay, okay. Nuggets win. Now let's just see how the Sixers do in the lottery. Cause we have the number one. We, yeah, we're destined to get that lottery pick. Oh, we get second though. All right, so Allen Iverson led a team that in 2023 and 2024 would win 14 games in theory and be second in the NBA draft. And that team, that roster of basketball made an NBA finals and took a game off of Shaq and Kobe. And I know that this is just a video game simulation, but I love how the style of play just simply absolutely does not translate to this video game whatsoever. It's just immaculate. I love everything about this. And that's the video. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Please like, comment, and subscribe and ask for whatever teams or cha uh, challenges that you want me to do. And I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys and have a good one. Bye.